Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show here is uh, some new texturing tools in XSI 3.5. So these apply quite quite broadly to different aspects of texturing. Uh, to start off with, I'm just going to show it on a simple track, though. So I'm going to go in and draw a texture and stick it onto this object. And I'm just going to give it uh, a throwaway projection to start with. So obviously, this is not a very useful projection for, the, for this kind of scenario. So I'm going to take this, these points here and stick them up in the air. And let's say we want to unravel uh, a specific part of this track. So let's say we want to unravel right here. We want to take this part and unravel along here. Now you could you could model it. You could you could try and generate UVs from the modeling process itself. But a lot of times uh, you end up texturing after, or or you make some adjustments. So I'll just take this and load it up in the texture editor. We have this new walking on the mesh. I go over here, update that, and you can see it went in and walked that texture uh, across this area, so along along the contour. Now you can contour it. There's there's a whole bunch of different algorithms you can do. You can walk the quads, uh, which gives you a more uh, f for this kind of modeling. It's actually it's actually the most predictable one. But if you're not doing quad based modeling, it'll it'll put place it based on edge distance. You can maintain the aspect ratio. Uh, in this case, we want it to pick, take the entire the entire mesh. Now, this also applies to scenarios where you come in and you don't have very regular geometry. You've got something that's completely completely wild. So, if we go look here, like the mesh is not is not very friendly at all. It's not uh, it's not something that's easy to texture map. But still, this is going to handle it perfectly. You come in here and uh, here. Let me move this down. One minus, and we'll come back here. Oh, I deselected it. Okay, so we'll go select this, update it, update it, and unwrap. Spin it around, take off the aspect, and you can see it's perfectly matched the the mesh. Let's turn off display options. Oops. So depending, depending, uh, there's a whole bunch of different methods on there. So depending on which one you use, they have a different, different level of quality. So this one's walking the mesh. This one's spatial distance. Spatial distance will actually do a better job for this kind of one. If you try and walk the quads, obviously the quads are not are not predictable at all, so that won't that won't work. This one will go and build a, uh, a surface over top of that. So this has a pretty broad application to. Uh, Doing parts of bodies, to doing stuff like that. Uh, I just unwrapped a dinosaur the other day, and I did it extremely quickly using this tool. Under, under, uh, you know, but it took me about an hour and a half, and I had a great match.